You're listening to the Lawyer Lifestyle Podcast with Chicago attorney Dave Scriven Young. This podcast is brought to you by Anchor, which is the app that I use to record and edit the Lawyer Lifestyle Podcast. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast, so let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so that it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more platforms. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. And it's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 207 of the Lawyer Lifestyle Podcast for May 24th, 2020. My name is Dave Scriven Young, an attorney from Chicago, Illinois, and I'll be your host. This podcast takes you on a daily journey to discover key principles in the areas of marketing, sales, and leadership for attorneys. So as we turn into uh, Memorial Day weekend here in the United States, um, we're continuing on to talk about what qualities a mentor is looking for in a mentee, and then On the other side, on the flip side, if you're a mentee looking for a mentor, um, these are the the types of qualities that you want to uh, show or demonstrate to the mentor in order to uh, get him or her to uh, be your your mentor. So uh, we're up to uh, quality number three, which is uh, John C. Maxwell asked this question, are this uh, person's values compatible with mine? And again, I think this goes both ways. I think that um, it has the values have to be compatible, yes. But I think it's just more as important that the mentee um, knows that the mentor shares. You know, if I was a mentee, I wouldn't want to make sure that the mentor shares my values, and you would want to make sure that as a mentor, you want to make sure the mentor. Or the mentee, excuse me, um, share would share my values as a mentor, because um, as Maxwell says, it gives you sort of a, a common ground and a ph- philosophical foundation. Um, so here are the uh, things that he talks about. Um, you want to make sure that they, meaning either the mentor or the mentee, that they add value to people. Um, that they must be givers who want to help others. So in other words, um, if you, I mean, certainly as a mentor, that's a great, um, that's definitely something you want to see because as, a, as when, when I'm a mentee looking for a mentor, I want someone who's going to add value to me. Um, but on the flip side, if I'm a mentor, I want to make sure that the person that I'm, I'm uh, encouraging, providing value to would also provide value because it really is, a, it's a two-way street. Um, I think it's, there's a term called reverse mentoring where, um, you get people who maybe are not up on technology, um, and the culture of, you know, the I generation or even, um, you know, some of the, some of the later generations, um, that those people actually have a lot to give to people in, um, you know, some of the, um, the older generations, if you will. Um, so I think it's a it's a really a two way street. The mentor, mentee actually will add value to the mentor, and the mentor will add value to the mentee. Um, but then you also want to see, because as a mentor, you know that so much of what we do, especially as attorneys, is uh, sur- is surrounded around people, um, adding value not only to clients but to referral sources to. Uh, people in bar associations and the like, um, you see all of this happening where um, you want to make sure that they're able to do that. Um, the second uh, value is that they value personal growth. They have to demonstrate a lifestyle of, of learning. Again, this is very important um, uh, characteristic that a mentor looks for at a mentee. And that's because, again, you want to under- you want to know that this person wants to grow and grow in all areas of their life not just one or two, um, but that 
really they're they're willing to invest the time, um, the resources, the talent into developing themselves. And as a mentor, you know this the mentee has placed a lot of trust in you, um, and it's uh, it's really important to to realize that. And there's a reason why you would do that as a mentee. It's because you know, this mentor has actually achieved achieved something in his or her life. And so you want to make sure that uh, the mentor is going to um, to help you to grow. But as a mentor looking at a mentee, you want to make sure that person has that capacity. Next is uh, you want them to lead by example. So again, it's very simple as a mentee. You're looking for someone who will be that example for you. Um, and on the flip side, as a mentor, you want to know that your mentee is going to lead by, lead by example, meaning that we're not just talking about words here. Um, we're just not talking about, um, you know, uh, we want to not only talk the talk, but also walk the walk as well. And that's going to be on both sides. Next is exceeding expectations, um, that they uh, stand out and receive Um, that they they know that they need to go out and do as much as they can to, you know, in terms of clients, they want to make sure that they're exceeding the expectations of clients. Um, referral sources, again, um, you're hoping that um, if someone uh, refers you a case, that you're going to you're going to exceed that client's expectations because that client is actually probably going to go back to your referral source and tell them about it, um, and so they're word is on the line as much as yours. Um, and so you see, exceeding expectations is very important. And then living intentionally, uh, knowing that um, everything worthwhile is uphill and they climb intentionally every day. So again, it's just sort of that um, knowing that your mentee is going to uh, work hard every day, going to well, work through problems um, with your guidance and advice, of course. Um but you want to make sure that these these people, you know, have these abilities um, to start with. And of course, all of this will, um, all of these values will uh, get honed and uh, get uh, more drilled down with, you know, more time. You know, if I spend a lot of time with somebody, they understand, they will understand all of these. They'll understand, you know, that they need to personally grow, that they need to uh, live intentionally. Now, am I perfect at that? Absolutely not. Um, but I hope that I am some example for, for people um, in certain areas um, of my life. So um, we want to make sure that uh, when you're a mentor that these people share these common values with them. So you, you'll, uh, it'll make sense for you to invest time um, in them. So for your daily action item, I want you to think about today is do you know what your values are? So hopefully it's um, the, the five that we talked about today, but there are tons of other values that you have that maybe other people don't have or that not a lot of people have. Um, and so once you know what your values are, then you'll be able to look for people to mentor um, who share those values. So I invite you to join into the discussion. You could leave me a voicemail by going to anchor.fm slash attorney DSY and hitting that message button. You could also leave me a comment for me to play on the show or a question for me to answer. You can leave me a comment or question on social media. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at attorney DSY. I'm also on LinkedIn on my personal profile. So let me know if you have any comments about this episode. Tell me what you think about this podcast or give me a topic you'd like to hear about. This podcast is on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, Pocket Cast, TuneIn, and Anchor, so please be sure to subscribe and rate and review. I also invite you to join in the next session of the Lawyer's Emotional Intelligence Book Club, continuing with Dr. Chatterjee's book, The Stress Solution. The next session will be Wednesday, May 27th at 7 p.m. Central. You can find out more at facebook.com slash lawyers eq. Have a great day or night, and remember to fight for the lifestyle that you want and become the rainmaker that you need to be.